Hello, happy Friday. Hope everyone's doing good. We are gonna do our makeup with you. And yeah, just thought it'd be fun to show you. We do something different every day, but we kind of do like similar like technique with our eyeshadow, just like different eyeshadows every day, different colours, yeah. We're not, you know, MUAs. No. We so, you know, we don't really know <laughs> what we're doing, but we love doing makeup yeah um hence why we do something different every day it's just so much fun experimenting and yeah just thought we'd show you because we never have i don't no, think no i don't think i've just have shown either. the makeup routine on the channel so we thought we might so i really hope you better be on focus otherwise i'll literally be so annoyed this is just what works for us you know don't take everything we say like no. it's you know the law because it's definitely not, it's definitely not. <laughs> but yeah we start with our brows this thing is so worn down so i don't even know i'm pretty sure it's a rimmel one we have to fill them in quite a lot because we were just not blessed with yeah bushy eyebrows like everyone else it's actually it annoying be... like because i feel like i look like i have like really filled in eyebrows and people might be like mm, you know filling their eyebrows too much or whatever like i wish i didn't have to like i genuinely wish i could just go out with my normal brows but i mean i could but they're just so gappy and it's like one smudge and it's off and so we just have to fill them in we have which to is really them. annoying i do kind of want to get i feel like i've seen a lot of people get like the um gel is it yeah. like liquid stuff that kind of like makes them look a bit fluffier that might help get a more natural look yeah so maybe we'll invest in something like that yeah because right I now i would like them to look more natural right but now we're filling them in with the pencil which isn't the most natural look but i might be saying we don't have a well joy well blessed with nice eyebrows it, yeah eyebrows are done they look so dark when we haven't done anything yeah. else but it does look better <laughs> we really do need to pluck them yeah me too but it's fine <laughs> so the new concealer we're using is also real it is the multitasker concealer Full coverage and we are using ivory because we have the Rimmel foundation also in ivory so we were like we'll go for that and I think we got the right shade we yeah, just guessed we but yeah we literally have only used this once yesterday for the first time it was pretty good it was pretty good I really like how thick the brush is yeah, me too look at that She's juicy. <laughs> it's so thick. <laughs> the most important step because the circles under our eyes, I don't know, maybe there's more we can do to get rid of them, but they're just really bad. Yeah, if anyone has any tips, please let us know. But yeah, they're just, I know some people like, they just do like mascara, like they don't even do concealer, and I'm like, literally, how? It says that you should drink more water, but like, we drink a lot of water, and like, we put moisturizer on. It's not working. Can you use a beauty blender? To blend it in. We went to dance last night yeah. and we're definitely feeling it now. The the ache is real. We were doing all sorts, forwards rolls, backwards rolls, you know, just all casual. Of the rolls, yeah, literally. I was like, I'm too old for this. <laughs> literally. Um, yeah, we should have diving onto the floor. We were telling our mum, she was like, you're a bit old for like forward and backwards rolls. I was like, probably. probably. You would have seen a little video of us doing the last phrase and oof. It was it a hurt. tricky one. It was so fast, and yeah, like I would say, just diving onto the floor. I have a bruise on my shoulder, my elbow is not feeling too <laughs> fucking fresh, and also I have a bruise on my knee and scrapes on our feet. Yeah, we were the wearing feet. socks. I thought I only used to get scrapes on my feet like in GCSE dance when we had to take our socks off. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but yeah, it just feels so good to be dancing. Like just even just doing the first mm -hmm. warm up when we're just like rolling through the body. I don't know. There's just just something about it. it just feels so good feels to so be good. moving and yeah it just feels so so blessed that we're we've already been to so many more dance classes yeah. than we did last year like last year we did one dance class and this year we've already done five yeah so i literally feel so happy about that and we just want to dance more like yeah, it's literally. just feeling fire i just need to dance more literally i feel like it's just making me want to just do so much dancing like ah. I just want to dance more and more and more, but I'm so grateful that we are getting to do this. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to look 
like more classes and stuff because I just yeah, I just want to dance, just want to dance <laughs> all the time. So that's done. I like this concealer. I think yeah, it's quite it's good. good. It is quite full coverage, mm -hmm. which we need. We need. <laughs> Next, we're going with the blusher. This was in a beauty advent calendar. Mm, it was last. last. Well, two years ago now. Yeah. It's a Max Factor one. Have a shade stunning sienna. Oh, fancy. We've literally used it yeah. so much. Like, but as soon as it's finished, we need to get another yeah, one. Yeah, like, literally. Sure. I love it so, so, so much. And yeah, we always used to wear foundation and then do blusher. Like, I never thought about just putting blusher on, like, just my cheeks. But one of our friends did it and it looks so nice. Yeah. And it's just like kind of that more natural look. So we've been doing that like since I'd say summer. Yeah, since summer. And I just love it. Like I just feel like it's just so nice. Like it just means that like you don't have to wear like foundation. Yeah. But you can still get that kind of like glow and just mm -hmm. like a bit of something on your face. Definitely and like especially in summer like when we did have like a bit of a tan, a bit of a glow, like you don't yeah. really want to put foundation on as much but just having that little bit of blush it was just like chef's kiss. I love it. Yeah, a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dark. It's really dark. Okay, it's, it's not really that dark. Not that dark. It's not. <laughs> this camera, like, like with this background, it just mm -hmm. makes everything look like really high contrast. But it's not that dark. It's such a nice shade. I love it. Like I said, it looks quite dark here, but we just put it all over our cheeks just to mm -hmm. get that little bit of glow. We definitely yeah. need it in the winter yeah. months. <laughs> Literally. And then we have the highlight. This I've never heard of this brand. The beauty crop. I think we might have got this in a glossy box because our mum got us a gloss box subscription for well well she got it for our birthday yeah so then we had it september october november then she got it renewed for so christmas. that we could have a christmas glossy box and then we had december january february and now she's forgotten to unsubscribe so we're getting another three boxes i feel so bad so do i <laughs> but they're so good mm -hmm. so yeah that's what this is Cutie, she's a cutie. Love the little bit of highlight. I get that glow. Just put it like on the cheekbones. On the faces. When we were watching Isabel, she was like, Does anyone put highlight under their eye? Do people do that anymore? Put a highlight under their eyebrow? Isabel, I've put it under my eyebrow. <laughs> You're not the only You're one. You're not the only one. I don't know if it's still a thing, but we do it. That's three people. Yeah, so <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm just going to in a little bit so you can see the eyeshadow. It's really annoying. I don't think it's focusing. It's just like because there's two of us, like where we sit here, for some reason, instead of focusing on what is in the foreground, the camera wants to focus on the What's thing that's in, in the, the middle. center, which isn't us. So the only way we can be able to focus is literally for our heads to be right together, which literally. isn't convenient. So it's really starting I mean, to frustrate me. I could come into the center for like the first half of the eyes. Yeah. And then you could maybe do the second half. Literally. Just so it actually fixes. So, hello. It's, <laughs> it's just me now taking over the video. No, I'm joking. So the palette that we'll be using literally so much is this W7 Romanced one. Literally so many good shades. We are obsessed. Like we've, so obsessed. We've used so many of them so much. It's kind of sad, <laughs> but it's our go-to yeah. like for the brown smoky eye. Mm -hmm. It just, mm, it's, it's so just good. So good. So also gifted, which is so lovely. Yeah. How lucky are we? I'm gonna do this shade here, which is called Desire in the crease, and then I'll probably do it underneath as well, like a nice dark brown crease. I don't know when like we started to do like a crease. Like I do look back on videos from like and, like videos and photos from like year eleven. Mm. And like we started doing a crease, but I wonder like did someone teach us how to do a crease or did we just like start yeah, doing it? I don't know how we kind of got into makeup because we did watch Zoe but I wouldn't say we were like full on Zoella kind of girlies like we did all her makeup tutorials not no. really um so I don't really know I just remember we had that so tiny top. little Barry M palette oh my God, that had yeah. like four colours and like a brown 
kind of gold and like maybe like a shimmery one that's yeah. what we used mm -hmm. brown for the crease and then just like a color on the eye that's yeah, what we used to do um yeah i don't know i don't know subtle well, anyway so yeah we do a, normally do quite a dark color in the crease and then kind of go from dark to light on the eye like i said i don't you know this is just what we do yeah i'll be right but <laughs> this is what we do okay so that's crease done obviously at this point you should trust the process because yeah. i look ridiculous right now <laughs> but <laughs> it will it will get better i'm gonna use this shimmery kind of bit more mm, bronzy kind of color it's called ever after love it it's probably actually the most used yeah. one in here i think it might be my favorite one it's just so yeah nice. it's really shimmery and it's just such a nice color so i'm gonna do that like just halfway across the eyelid just for that like deeper color in the corner you see that it's such a nice color it's so gorgeous yeah sometimes we do two colors sometimes one i think i prefer doing two yeah. just because it has a little more contrast but if we do have just one really nice shimmery colour that we want to use, we're going to do that. It depends how dark we want to go. Or light. Yeah. Um, I just feel like sometimes, maybe it's just PTSD, <laughs> but I feel like sometimes when I do a dark crease and then just a light colour, I feel like I look too much like the year 10 kind of vibe where I didn't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> we kind of did that yesterday and it was okay. No, but that was more dark. Yeah, I guess so. I think I don't like it when it's too light, a dark reason too light. <laughs> it depends. It's, it is hard to colour match and like we've done stuff before that like doesn't go. You yeah, just yeah. Have to oh, experiment. Yeah. That's the thing, like right now we're showing you like something that we have done quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Like there are times when we do our makeup and it just doesn't look that great. Doesn't look great. But that's what we just love to experiment. Yeah. We can't do the same thing twice. No, literally we never do. Apart from like to be fair, like a lot of the looks that we've been coming back to have them from this palette it's quite mm -hmm. easy to like you know uh, replicate a look just yeah. because we've used this palette like a hundred times yeah. okay so that's that done if you can see you can kind of see but it's like a bit of a color there and then we've got the rest of the eye to do mm -hmm. john's gonna take over yeah, in the middle right through. <laughs> yeah then we like to go in with a bit of a lighter color for the inner corner i'm gonna go with this here. It's called passion. You get to just get a light <laughs> gold <laughs> colour. Always a light colour in the inner corner, just brightens the eye up. <laughs> and just a nice contrast with the darker colour. In terms of blending, like from like the you know, because you're kind of like cutting between your eye. I don't really know. I just kind of like I overlap go over, them. yeah, overlap them, so then it's kind of like it looks um seamless yeah but to be fair like you don't need to do a lot like you i know. really i'm not like here like blending 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 like i don't think it's that obvious i don't know if you can do that can i do it yeah she's mm. <laughs> just a beauty i love you colors oh same it's got like a little bit of shimmer mm -hmm. but they're not like super sparkly mm -hmm. it's just really nice with like a nice subtle brown smoky eyes. This is the thing that's actually changed mm -hmm. the most, I think. Changed the game. Again, I don't know. I actually think this is so random. This is what I mean by like not even following a tutorial. Like we were doing a photo, a Riverdale yeah. recreation and her makeup. I can't remember who we were doing. I think it was really early on, like one of the Midnight Club ones. Oh, really? And her yeah. makeup looked like she had eyeshadow under her eye, which I know is like a thing, people do it, but we'd never done it before. So then we did it for this one look and I was like, oh, I really like that. And now that is the go-to. Like. Like. So I'm gonna go back in with the color that we did the crease with, Desire. And we've got this little tiny brush and I'm gonna put it under the eye and it's just, I gave change up. We usually go with like a pretty dark colour. Sometimes mm -hmm. the same as the crease, sometimes different. Just depends. Depends what we're feeling. But yeah, I think it definitely looks better when it's darker. I mean, it feels again like you look ridiculous before you put the mascara, mascara on. on. Yeah. But it <laughs> definitely. Just the process. Yeah, it definitely pays off in the end. There we go. Like I say, it doesn't look great now, but I promise you mm -hmm. it will work. It <laughs> is the game changer that's just leveled up our makeup yeah then we do a little bit of highlight in the corner because again like we said gotta brighten up that corner um using 
a sleek makeup palette that we've used to oh death. We actually, I think this was a gift. Yeah. Many and Lucy, mm -hmm. so thanks guys. But we've literally used the whole of this one and we're almost Ooh, out of this what one. Do. Yeah, out. I don't know what these two are like. This one looks that more one. kind of like creamy, creamy. Maybe we'll give it a go. Oh, the highlight in the inner corner, she always again, just, just brightens it up. Brightens it up, brings it together. Looks so nice. Also, I was just thinking while I was watching Joanne do that little fun fact for everyone. I used to be ambidextrous when I was like, I don't know, I think just like from very young and it didn't last very long because basically Jan could only like, you know, write and do everything with her right hand like a normal person, um, but I could do both. But because Joanne could only do her right, I just copied her. Like I just stopped using my left, which is actually so annoying. Yeah. Because imagine if I was still every day. This <laughs> would be such a flex. It's so cool. And but also I'm <laughs> even so jealous because I don't know why, but I just like feel like left-handed, like being left-handed is just really cool. I think just because like most people are right-handed, yeah. so then just to be like, I'm when you're left-handed, left oh, I just love it. So um, I'm so jealous. <laughs> but yeah, because I saw Joanne using her right hand, I stopped using my left hand. So like, I can't write or anything with my left hand anymore. But when I'm doing my makeup, I don't know if other people do this, but no one else <laughs> Absolutely not. I like swap my hands for everything. So like, you know, everything I do on my left side I do with my left hand um I don't know why I guess it's just one of those things that just like stuck it's kind of like I used to use left-handed scissors at school like if all the right-handed scissors ran out I could use the left-handed scissors and I could get by you know it's like one of those things it's like yes I'm not ambidextrous but there's little little mm -hmm. bits that's still in there it's like doing mascara like with your right hand like that's just foreign to me like i literally don't understand how you do that like <laughs> it's left handed all the way like reaching across and going you know so yeah that's just a little fun fact for you i'm just using my left just hand there using your left hand <laughs> the only thing i use my left hand for is the eyeliner which is the which hardest, is the hardest part, part but i, I haven't even done my eyeshadow um i use my left hand not the other things because that's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the eyeshadow done. She's a cutie. And now for the thing that brings it all together. Yeah. The mascara. We've been using this mascara for ages. Trust this is Rimmel as well. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of Rimmel. Sponsor us. Like we're using all your products <laughs> back to me. Um yeah, I don't know when we started using this, probably before lockdown. Yeah and yeah we've just stuck to it we actually were watching zoe's video the yeah. other day and she mentioned the lash sensational sorry we have to have our hands yeah. together if it needs to be in focus which we used to use and i don't know why we stopped i think we were just like oh should we try something different and then this is the one that stuck the rimmel wonder extension lash extension effect mascara we use very black but yeah i kind of want to try the last sensation yeah, again too. just to see because yeah i don't know why we'd ever stop using it yeah i don't know maybe we'll give it a go next time but i am loving this one yeah me too i mean i do just wish my lashes were a bit longer like see other yeah. people have just lovely long eyelashes and i just can't can't relate. can't relate but you know <laughs> like we're just saying all our flaws right now no. there are things i like i i love our eyes our eyelids like we have good eyelids for eyeshadow probably why we do it so much like some people have very small eyelids or like hooded eyelids not as easy but we're definitely blessed with nice eyelids really that's nice. a good thing <laughs> big eyelids for big makeup big eyeshadow looks that makes me happy what's just just smudge on my face a bruise on my back. Really? Oh god, I've got the scar all over me. <laughs> oh god. Do I? I don't see anything. No. No, you're good. <laughs> I'm good. Ow. <laughs> That's so painful. Definitely have one on my shoulder from that pause roll. Yeah. I hate forwards rolls, like it's literally like my least favourite thing to do. So I just like did a lot because I was like I don't want to embarrass myself. But not to be honest, able no, to. but like the improvement though, like John used to not be able to actually forward oh roll. Oh my god. You ever, no. If you mentioned that to any Lucy, they would just like actually I die and laugh. Literally our like 
first A session, or like one of the, it was like definitely in our first year. We already was felt- Was it in our first year? I don't know. I thought Lucy was there as well. Oh yeah. Maybe, oh it, maybe God, like when we year. first went back. That makes it even worse. But I think because we didn't start dancing until year eight. So like, I feel like for people that have danced from like a really young age, like you do all the kind of like rolling around with no fear and just all of that stuff yeah. when you're younger, but we didn't do that. I like, like gymnastics and stuff. Exactly. Like we never... So I did my first backwards roll when I was in like year 10. <laughs> did you do first forwards roll when you were no, 10? Literally, and oh my god, we got mats out and we had to individually <laughs> forward roll along this mat, and I was. <laughs> No. Oh, <laughs> I we love it to be so bad. Like I was just going off the mat. Like I just couldn't do it in a straight line. It was so embarrassing. I like, mean, I'm laughing. Mine was not really any that much better, but it know, wasn't as bad. Was. They were awful. So now I'm just so scared. Like whenever we have to like whenever Laura puts a forward roll in a routine, I'm like, oh god. god PTSD. <laughs> but I think I did it alright. Yeah, no, you did it, you know. I did it, yeah, I got through it. But I just remember Ellie and Lucy just finding it so funny because Ellie's like did gymnastics when she was younger, so she's like she's got she's it. Like, got she's it, yeah. Completely able to do that. But we were just like, oh my god, this is my worst nightmare. So embarrassing, actually the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened at dance. But like continuous forwards rolls, like it's not easy. It's not. And I've definitely got so much better. Mascara is done. We're almost See done. How much difference that made? Like, you just have to trust. Yeah, that mascara is gonna make everything better, literally. But yeah, you can see like how dark that is underneath. It is. It gives the same effect as like an eyeliner, mm -hmm. but it's just like we said, just a bit softer mm -hmm. and kind of ties it in. in everything. So um, yeah, we're almost done. <laughs> yeah, last step is lipstick using this matte lipstick that we got in our beauty advent calendar in the shade twig it's a satin lipstick it's a lot really really nice i feel like zoe used to use this all the time i don't know like when we opened it up and i saw that it was twig i was like why does that ring such a bell mm -hmm. i'm sure she used to use it it's such a lovely color we literally have like five lipsticks that are like basically the same mm -hmm. shade they're all like slightly different finishes but they're all basically <laughs> this color this one's slightly lighter we have a darker one and then we have a kind of more um glossy finish mm -hmm. one so we've got it we've got all bases covered but i really do like this one a lot She's a cutie. Stick it's always an essential. Mm -hmm. Again, don't wanna just start <laughs> saying our flaws. We have very pale lips. Yeah. And I feel like because we do dark, well not dark, but like, you know, eyeshadow, mm -hmm. you can definitely then if you don't do like a darkish lip, you can really see that your lips look very washed out. So we always we are lipstick wearing always. gowns. Always, <laughs> always, always. We did pick up this. Oh, yeah the other day this collection illuminating makeup fixing spray we got the dewy finish instead of the matte one because i don't know how i feel about a matte finish i feel like i want to look a bit yeah i like a, a I glowy like a glowy dewy finish it really like shocks me when it it feels like really it feels wet wrong. yeah it feels like and also i feel like they usually say hold it like a like <laughs> 30 <laughs> centimeters or like you know as far away from your face as possible this thing says 10 centimeters which feels very which close is, 10 centimeters is only like that mm -hmm. that just feels a bit close so i'll get a bit further away <laughs> it feels nice and my makeup stayed on well yesterday to be fair, so yeah, I, I think did it did and everything. Yeah, it like yeah, didn't good sweat off or anything. Not that we sweat. No. <laughs> um but yeah. That is the makeup done. She's really cute. We look really pale. Like I said, the dark background mm. is making us look even more pale, but I mean we are quite pale, but we are quite <laughs> pale at the moment. We need the sun. Give us a day. Today. But yeah, the eyeshadow. She's, she's done. I hope you enjoyed coming along for a little well, get ready with me. Go to makeup look. If you want to do more makeup and you think you can't, this is literally no eyeliner, no nothing. Just need a simple eyeshadow palette, a couple of brushes. Just remember, dark crease, 
dark underneath, two all one colours on the eye, and you're there. Thank mascara, you. and you're done. It's really not that hard. People are always like, oh my god, I wish I could do makeup like you. I'm sure you, you can. Could. You can. You could. It's so much easier than it looks. Yeah. I enjoy doing a little do um, makeup with us moment. You're Very cute. cute. If you want to see us do any more kind of makeup yeah. looks, then we'd be down. We do obviously do some other more out there things sometimes. So yeah. if you want to see that, then do let us know. Obviously, you know, it's not for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Most people just do, you know basic makeup um on the daily yeah we have a lot of time on <laughs> yeah so but i feel like even if you don't do makeup like i just enjoy watching people do yeah. their makeup just like it's interesting to see like different techniques and mm -hmm. stuff so yeah just let us know but i'm so done yeah I had a lot of fun i did too hope you enjoyed